Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on how to create a map of Africa using data that you might have on the distribution of a particular disease or the population distribution using the package in R called ggplot. So without further ado, I'll just jump into what we need to do today. So here I'm using the Pacman um, to install the Pacman package to install all these other packages. But actually what you need here is the tidyverse which, which has ggplot embedded and also you have um, with Excel. So here I'm just removing all the exponents in the hour session. Um, the next step is to load my, load my data. And the next um, few steps is just to format the data into the into the right format that I need for my for for actually depicting the map of interest. So here you have this. And if we take a look at the levels, um, I think I'll just copy this up here. I think it makes better sense, but I'll try as much as possible to do this as quickly as possible. So we don't take too much time. Um, here you just see that the age category here is not in order. So you, you should have zero to six, um, seven to 27 days. But when you go down, you see that seven to six. So it's not in the right, the data is not in the right order. In order to order it correctly, you do this. So I run this, I won't go into details. You can actually look at the code. Here, I just round the figures to um, um, two decimal places. So you can also do this. And after I do that, what I do to my data is to save my data. And this is a practice that is personal. Um, you don't have to do that. The next step will be to group my data by country because I'm interested in individual countries. And here I'm summarizing the thought PF. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually introducing a new variable, which is the sum of all the PF cases of individual um, age categories for the countries of interest. So what I do here is that I run this. So I have, so if we look at DF2, if you view DF2, um, this is what you have. So you have individual cases and you have the total, um, the total number of PF cases and individual countries. So the next step will be to bring in, you know, an Excel sheet which contains data of Africa. And what you do after that is that you merge this with your original data set from above and you set um, the column um, tot PF to zero if the value is not available. And you see what will happen uh, in the next iteration. So what you have here is that you have all the countries we're interested in as we mentioned earlier, we didn't have all the countries, right, in Africa. So now we have all the needed countries. Um, from the previous data set, we just had um, 46 countries, and the next data set has all the countries in Africa. Because in order for you to have a proper map, you have to have all the countries included. So the next thing I do is to load all information on um, longitude and latitude from the map data, data which is a world repository uh, from ggplot. And what I do next is to merge that with my original data set from above. So what I do is when I merge it, I run this command. And you can see that we have countries that are not from Africa. So the next step will be to take those countries out. And in order to do this, you just filter them out. So countries that are that have um, non-available um, uh, numbers in, in the in the Tot PF column will be removed. So we have, uh, okay. So now we see that we have all the countries in Africa. So what do we do next? Um, we can also check, which I, I really don't, um, I, I would advise you to do, but this is just for personal practice. So you don't have countries, for instance, like the, um, the uh, Dominican Republic or other countries that are out of Africa with the World Republic. So these are the only countries with the World Republic within the African continent. And here I'm creating a data set which I'll use for Geom text. And this data set is summarizing the longitude and latitude information that I already have in my map data. And is also summarizing the mean, which will just be a similar number. It's just like taking the mean of one. All right, I run this very quickly. And now we come to the graph itself. So we have our data, this con label. And what we see here is that we're creating a polygon. We're using ggplot. You know, we're mapping our aesthetics to the longitude and latitude. We're using jump polygon to include the spaces around our text. We're using geom text to include text, um, the names of the countries. And here is where we need the con label data set. 
um, which is the which helps us label the information, the text information we we want on our map. So here you just run it, um, run it very quickly, and here we have our map. So this is how the map looks like um, now. Uh, it looks good, um, and some people might find this um, already good enough to use. And here you also see the distribution. So what I've done is I've filled the polygon with tot pf um, as my outcome of interest. So whatever you're interested in, if you're looking at the population spread, if you're looking at certain inventory information, um, you can also use the same approach. So the next step will be just to improve my graph, I'm uh, sorry, my map. And what I've done to do uh, that is to include this um, function, which is also part of the tidyverse. You should check it out and all the other um, uh, accompanying variables. And furthermore, we just labeled our graph. We said uh, it's PF malaria, malaria cases. Uh, I think this should be 2019. So we just change this a bit and we just change the caption to map. So map. And here is um, all the other aesthetics you can look into. Here we call the cow plot. I don't like to go into this because of time. So what we'll do here is to run this and um, let's see what our, what our, our map looks like now. Okay, I'll try to zoom in and let's see what we have. Okay, we have a reasonable graph here. Um, it's a decent graph with the individual countries. I hope this helps. Um, I'll leave the code in the description for those who might be interested. Um, you can also go ahead and save. So thanks for watching this video and do have a lovely day.